uh, day three of our week eight of our series as we begin to continue to think about uh, the whole thing of patterns. Uh, and today's reading, I, I really enjoyed it actually, uh, it comes, picks up the Bible passage from uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 22. Um, and it says this, be joyful always, pray continually, giving thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Do not put out the Spirit's fire. Do not treat prophecies with contempt. Test everything. Hold on what, to what is good and avoid every kind of evil. I think that's very pertinent for today's uh, situation we find ourselves in. Uh, but as a pyromaniac, uh, do not put out the Spirit's fire. I think great. You know, fan into flame. Let's see it burn bright. Uh, but also there's this wonderful um, reflection on um, fire and what makes a, a fire burn, which I think is uh, just great for this time of year uh, for our hearts. So just perhaps listen to these words, even if you've read them before, um, just allow some time to uh, reflect upon them. What makes a fire burn is space between the logs a breathing space. Too much of a good thing, too many logs packed in too tight can douse the flames almost as surely as a pail of water would. So building fires requires attention to the spaces in between as much as to the wood. When we are able to build open spaces in the same way we have learned to pile on the logs, then we will come to see how it is fuel and the absence of the fuel together that makes the fire possible. I wonder what spaces today that you are going to create that rather than just piling on lots of things to do, that there are those gaps to breathe, to rest in the presence of God, to talk to God, to be with him, that actually allows the fire in your heart so the spirit to burn. Let's pray together. Lord, we need this breathing space. Forgive us as we keep uh, piling on things that make our lives, our minds, our hearts too busy. Help us, Lord, to be intentional in creating spaces to meet with you, to give thanks to you in all circumstances. Lord, where we are blind, open our eyes. Show us the way, Lord, that your Holy Spirit may burn in and through and all that we do and say, for Christ's sake. Amen.